Yo. Welcome and we are here with another Synfig tutorial and in this one I will be showing you how to create a starburst and if you don't know what a starburst is it looks like this and this has been used in pretty much a lot of animated series right among other places as well as uh, graphic design and other stuff right so without further ado let's get right into it now the first thing you want to make sure is that your canvas size is set to 1920 by 1080 I mean it's not necessary but that's what I'm working with currently so to check that just go to canvas properties and just make sure your your width is 1920 and your height is 1080 and click apply okay All right and then we want to turn on the grid so I'm just gonna click the button right here to turn on the grid and I'm gonna go to canvas options and I'm just gonna change the settings of the grid well the grid size I'm gonna be working with a hundred on both sides so I'm just gonna type a hundred and show grid is already ticked click on snap to grid and click apply and then ok alright so with that out of the way the next thing we want to do is begin making our starburst and for that I'll be using a star so select the star and in the options panel we're, we're not going to change any of the settings here because we can change these after we create a star so I'm just going to create the star and I'm going to scroll down in the properties for the star and I'm going to change the points to let's say 20 that should be easy to work with and for the inner radius I'm going to change that to 10 and for the outer radius I'm going to increase that enough to um, well let me actually just select the star and use the outer control point to scale it out and I'm just going to I'm going to add a background so that we can see this clearly right so let me just go to my um, rectangle tool and just draw a background and I'm going to change that background to white just so we can see what we're doing clearly and I'm going to move the background layer below the star and with the star selected what I want to do is select the center point right here and I want to move this to the center of the canvas so how do we know where the center is well right where it says zero right so we look for the zero on the horizontal um, part of the grid and we also want to look for the zero on the the um the vert well the vertical part of the grid and zero on the horizontal part of the grid so where they, they meet which is right here you want to just drag the center point and release it there so that's how you know that this is at the center of the grid and then I'm just gonna scale this all the way out um, so all of the the lines go outside of the canvas right okay so there we have the beginning of our starburst right and I'm just going to leave the background layer for now just so we can see what we're doing so I'm just gonna click on so next I'm gonna click on the star and let's begin um, so I'm going to select the spline tool and what we want to do is create um, shapes on every other line right what do I mean by that let me show you let me actually demonstrate that so let me zoom in first and I think I'm going to start with this part right here so I'm going to zoom all the way in I think that is okay and I'm going to use my spline tool and just left click here and click here and I want to make sure this goes over well between the line here so we can zoom in so it goes on the line itself okay um, and if you're uh, if you're dragging out control points like this just uh, drag them inward well, let me actually right click and just delete this vertex because we don't need it right click delete and i just want one to work with okay so i'm just going to select both of these ah let me undo 
let me delete that I keep on doing that okay so let me just leave it there and click another point here and what I want to do is bring this all the way down come here and then I'm going to go up on this line right here and then I'm going to close this right here so right click and click loop spline and then I'm going to press enter right now something I should have um, mentioned before you might want to when you select the spline tool you might want to select the first layer type right here but just in case you didn't have this option on and you had like for example maybe just the second layer type what you do after you create your shape you just right click and click um, make region okay so let me actually demonstrate that right now so if I should select this loop press enter we'll just get the border right so you just select the layer right click and click make region and you'd get the color within the, the outline then you could just delete the outline part of the, the shape okay all right so I'm just going to check to see if all my points are on the line so let me just move this down and zoom in just to make sure just going to move this over I want to make sure it's directly on the line like so but not outside of the line or inside okay Yo. okay so that's okay and I'm gonna check the top part that is fine as well and I'm going to do the same for this part that is on the line so that's okay and I'm gonna check this part and that is okay as well All right uh, and I definitely don't need this point I've been trying to delete this point for a while so let me right click and remove item okay so that's good enough now if you notice the the origin um, the origin point of my shape is on the center of the grid now you want to make sure that is the case for you as well if it's not then you wherever it is you just select it and move it onto the center point okay and then you um, make sure that you you adjust your your lines to make sure that they are um, touching the the star shape here right so just in case there's something like this just adjust it all right um, then we want to make sure that these points right here are going towards the the center point of the line so I'm just going to drag this up here and I'm going to do the same thing with these points right here drag it to the center pull them in I'm going to make sure all the points are touching the center like so okay right. I don't want to be a perfectionist right now uh, but um, I also don't want to make sure that anything is out of place okay so it took us a while to do that Right, I'm sure that you guys probably will finish this uh, quicker than I'm doing it right now. So we have one part of the shape. The next thing I want to do is actually to duplicate this. Um, but before that, I'm going to rename it to maybe Stripe. S-T-R-I-P. I'm horrible with names, but I'll just call it that for now. And Control c Control v to duplicate. Then I'm going to select these, these points right here and I'm going to drag them and I'm going to skip one part and come over to the next section which is right here and then I'm going to basically adjust my shape and for this one I don't need a third point so I'm just going to right click and click on remove item smart and then I'm just going to adjust these to match up with the, the line on the star so it's gonna match that up and match this up here all right and just double check and that is fine and we don't have to worry about this right here because we duplicated this one so the center point 
is already at the center of the star okay uh, and I'm going to duplicate this one control C control V and I'm going to do the same thing drag it over skip one part I'm going to skip this part let me zoom in and adjust let me undo that select all of this and just this part and that is fine let me zoom out now so as you can see I'm just once I have one shape down I can just duplicate them and then move them over to where I want them and just adjust the shape so let me adjust this one here and adjust this So, and that one is fine. And I'm going to duplicate this one as well. And move it over. And just this part. Wait. Yeah. Like so. Okay, so that's, that's, that's okay, that's fine right there. Right, so um, you can continue duplicating and fill out these parts here, but uh, what I'm going to do is actually, I'm gonna group these and then duplicate the group and then flip it. So let me, dem let me demonstrate that right now. So let me just shift, select all of these, group them, and I'm just going to click on the group, Control C, Control V, and then I'm going to use on my second group. I'm going to use this point right here. So I'm going to select it and just drag it down, and then we can see it flips. But then the point comes back up here, and I'm going to select it again and just drag it upward. Um, and I'm going to just click on it and then use my arrow keys on my keyboard. So I'm going to use the up arrow key to just slowly move it up until it matches with the lines, like so. But if you notice, um, we don't want this right here, right? Because we want to skip every other um, set of lines, right? So I'm going to flip this on the horizontal axis so to do that click this point right here and just drag it over then release and once you release it will automatically come back over to this side so you just want to click on it make sure it's selected and then you can use your arrow keys i'm going to use the right arrow key to just i'm just tapping on it to move it over slowly until it's until everything is in place and there now everything is in place right so with that now done i'm going to turn off the star layer well actually we can delete the star layer because we no longer need that and um i'm actually going to use the rectangle layer as the background so we want two colors we want the this, these white spaces right here to have one color and these um, patterns to have another color so with the rectangle selected I'm going to change it to another color like so All right and I'm going to turn off the grid and turn off snap and now we can see we have our starburst that was pretty simple right even though um, I kind of took a while to explain it all to you guys but um, it's very simple to create and now if you want to change the color uh, well, changing the color of the background is easy, but to change the color of the, um, the, the pattern, you can just open up these folders. I'm going to open up both of these folders. And what you want to do is, the cool thing about Synfig is that you can select all these layers. So I'm just going to hold on Shift, select these, then hold on Control and click on the rest of these, and then go to the Properties, 
And then if you change the color, it will actually change the color for every single um, shape that you have there. Okay. And then we'll have something like this. So that's how you would create a starburst. Um, if you want to have more lines, you could you could have created the star with um, more than 20 points, right? But it's up to you. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next one. Yo, Tim Hardy.